Guten Tag everyone, I'm Harry Mokolover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Today, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we are going to play as that Daddy Kaiser Wilhelm II. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to keep historical AI focuses off to see what might or might not happen, but I'm going to play as Germany fairly historical and of course custom game rules, nothing's different, let's just go get right into it. So like I said, uh, historical route for Germany, a historical route hopefully for everyone else, the mods I'm using, colored buttons, colored events, player led peace conferences, the Great War, or Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Redux mod, and I think the state transfer tool mod, just to get that out of the way. So I've played as Austria Hungary before and it got very, very weird. I've not even touched this before, this is the very first time I'm actually touching Germany in the Great War Redux mod, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. Well, I kind of do. You want to build a massive military. Wow, we got a lot of... A certain type of soldier. I was going to use these as... Wow. Garrisons, but, uh... I'm probably not going to use all these guys as garrisons. So... Let's say we want a good 20 as garrisons. Maybe that'd be kind of nice. 20... Then there you go. You guys come back up here because I'm switching you over to something else. But let's get to a focus first. We could do contain the Kaiser for a historical stuff, but like I said, let's go historical with Weltpolitik. A great description, mutually exclusive with contain Kaiser, we get some more political power and change in authoritarianity. Very cool. And it's 1910, of course, so let's build ourselves up. We got probably a few good years before we might smash heads with some other people. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Combat width is 18, very nice. Uh, Mountaineers could use some work. Ersatz divisions could definitely use some work. Holy cow. Keep that high, keep that low. Uh, train a good amount, but with this campaign, I'm going to try something a little bit different than just trying to use infantry. We still only have three research slots, so be it not a problem. But what I'm going to try to do is emphasize, where is it, armor. I want to emphasize armor as best as, as much as possible, or as best as we possibly can. So, that is my goal. Looks like we already have these stuff researched and done. Resource-wise, that'd be probably pretty important. It is 1910, so let's start working on some of these battleships as well. Our current navy. Before I make anything else, let's take a look at the navy. We got a total of five ships, five battleships. Okay then, uh, a varying strength. Pre-war, oh, maybe they're just all the same. They're probably all the same actually. Well, the Brandenburg class ship is. Oh my God, what? What's that G word? Ah, garbage. Yes, they're going to be led by though von Tirpitz. Hmm. Hmm. Ironsides. I think I'm going to go with von Hipper this time. Good. And they're all ready training. Good. Good, good, good. So, I'm going to skip that. Nope, nope. That's not bad. We're going to keep that. Nope, nope. Torpedo boats? Eh, probably not. And probably not. Cool. Uh, we have no army XP, so we're not going to make any ships yet. Are you actually a destroyer, or what are you? You're... Yeah, these are destroyers. Make some convoys then. Boom! There you go. Easy. Guns? We want guns. We want... Are actually, these armored cars, the Kraftwagen Bach. Oh, we can actually upgrade them. Their armor level is what? One. A whopping one armor. We'll make a few. Obviously, guns will be the highest priority thing here. We're going to need a few early fighters. Uh, zeppelins? Even though I love, love, love Zeppelins, we're mm, probably not going to really use those too much. Cool. Focus on that, too. Do that. Anything else here? We got guns. We got uh, artillery. I don't really use howitzers because they're okay. They're not that great, as far as I can tell. Do that, do that, and boom, we are good to go. Uh, do we have an Air Force at all? We actually have a few planes. Oh, we actually do have some Zeppelins. Uh, you know what? I really don't even care about you, so thank you for playing. Goodbye. Good, 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 good. Train if you can. Just don't ruin all your planes. That'd be nice. Army-wise, I have no idea what we're doing here. What are we doing? We got 57 of these guys, 18 combat with, which isn't too bad. 29... Uh, how do I want to do this efficiently? Do that. Do that. That's actually not very efficient at all. One, two, three. Besides, we got time here. So, hope you're having a great day. To, we are trying out, like I said, Germany. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Hopefully it goes out well. And because I played as Austria, oh, South Africa, act. I know that they don't have an option to really go A. Well, they can go kind of ahistorical and split up their empire. But hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully we can we stay buddy buddies with the Italians. Maybe we'll stay buddy buddies with uh, the Austrians, which I don't know why they wouldn't. Also, go ahead and convert these guys to this. Split them in half. 
Thank you. Alright, looks like we got... Yep, they're all the same things. And now I'm going to split you guys in half. There you go. Yep, there you go. Oh, that was a bad idea. There you go. And boom. What I wanted to do was make you into a separate theater. You guys will probably be on the Eastern Front, led by... Von Württemberg? Hmm. Oh, they're all politically connected. You pieces of garbage. <sighs> Politics. Military. War. All that stuff I don't want to think about right now. Go ahead and do that, because we can. That'd be nice. Different army generals. We got 1.12 political power. Hey, we got Welt Politik. Very nice. Reconnaissance. Ludendorff. I want to maybe save you for special forces. Jungle Rat. Oh, Von Lettervordbeck. I love that guy. Oh, Von Falkenhayn. Good. Let's go with the fan. Prussian militarism, even though we could choose other stuff. Let's go do this for ourselves. So, German Prussian militarism, we get more army support or army experience. War support, 20%. Wow. And get more organization, group of population, and division recovery rate. God dang, that's, that's nice. Officer, spend terms. The Schlieflin Mokteplan. Sounds like fun. I like claims. We might get improved worker conditions. What do we want to choose here? Early mobilization? Oh yeah. Uh, like normal. I think I'm just going to see Ludendorff. Can't choose any of this stuff. Uh, that's not bad. August Thyssen. Thyssen. Economist. All right, then. Fascist demagogue. Oh, I can't do that. Silent workhorse. Wait. Current party's not non-aligned. Okay. I want to... I always like choosing that guy first. But, you know what? Uh, do we have a... Mm, you want von Herringen? Or do we want speed? I'm going to go with von Herringen first. We go. And then we'll get the other guy. And we're gonna need at least one fuel. One eh, don't want to help them out. Mm, Ottomans. Turks. Wait. No, I want fuel, please. Okay, my bad. Mexico, you never know if you can trust the Americans. Those Ferdinands Ferdinands, those Mexicans, can be very out useful. Very good allies maybe in the future. King Ferdinand up in the air, first monarch to do so. Next you will be led by Japan Korea Annexation Treaty. Oh well. And then Remus, sure. And then y'all will be led by Alexander von Kluck. Kluck. Like a chicken. Kluck, 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 kluck. And this army group shall be led by... Hmm. Real garbage. I'm not gonna lie, real garbage here. Real garbage hours. I want you to defend as best you possibly can. So you guys, you, you'll be on this small little line for now. You probably will have... You're gonna need some more supply. Maybe. Horses. The horses should be led by a horse dude. Like Von Mackensen. Motion cost. He's... Well, he's an old guy. He's an old guard. Makes sense. Cool. But like with my Austrian campaign when I played this, we're going to try to move through this through this as quickly as possible. Just so that we can get to war more and more and more and more quickly. Our sh ships can't train as well. You know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Infantry, you'll be led by... Mm -hmm. Oscar. I'm really trying to save uh, von, von Hindenburg for like armored cars because I want to give them the most and best chance for attack. Or Ludendorff, either one of those two. And I really want to save von Leto Vorbeck uh, for the jungle, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting the general. We got Carl. Carl! Man, you're looking kind of old, Carl. Uh, Georg? Georg? Cool, that's okay, and then you'll be led by Herman von Francois. Cool. Place under the sun, that sounds like a lot of fun. I could do a crisis. We could backstab them, but not in this campaign, probably. We'll support Austrian claims, Eastern expansion, decisions, isolate them, delegation to them, focus on the enemy, OHL authority. So we lose daily political power, just 0.05% a day. More planning, speed max planning. Ooh, we get some stuff. Change your popularity of proto-fascism, expand the air- Oh, that's really guys. Guys? Nice. I can't speak tonight. Or in this episode. Ooh, army reform. Oh, that's, that's not bad. That's really not bad. So, but we can't choose that because we want to, them to have more authority. I can't speak. Anyways, uh, we support Austrian guys. Just go and do this one. So, uh, I can't speak that language or read that, so I'm going to assume this is good. Uh, you know what? Let's grab some of the first We'll just do that, just because stability is, as some might say, muy bueno. I don't think they say bueno in Germany, but could be wrong. They say it in Mallorca, I think, sometimes, but that's not Germany yet. Anyways, you guys. Special forces. 
construction one, very nice, very nice. Is anyone else like Horseus? No? Okay, you bond the goats. You can hear, be offensive. Good. And we shall move, and this might be useful for where we're going. Because, okay, so here's my strategy. For when World War One breaks up, wherever it does, whenever it does, I'm going to hold against the French. I'm going to smack down the Russians as hard as I possibly can early game. Try to be a little bit historical here, and probably cut through Poland. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Cool. We have you guys still. And you can be led by someone. Maybe not great. Revolution in Portugal. Very nice. Von Eichhorn. Monarchs need to be careful. Absolutely. Before you know it, there will be no more monarchs, and people will be led into thinking that they can make decisions themselves. What a bunch of crazy thoughts. 20 should be enough for here. Cool. Because I could, you know, defend Cameroon. I could defend Togo, or even Tanganyika, but... Eh, it's probably not worth it. Good. Strengthen you guys. What is our gun deficit? Casually missing... 32,000 pieces of infantry equipment, as well as 900 pieces of artillery, and 2,000 pieces of support equipment. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. But we can change this up a little bit. So, I'm going to make sure you guys are even thicker, but you're not going to have enough stuff on you guys. You guys are going to be even thicker, because you need to be at least 10 combat with. We're going to duplicate this immediately and already go to call them garrisons. That'd be nice. So we have that ready to go. Uh, you guys have to be 10 combat with at the minimum for Coast Guards, and you need some engineers. Boom, we're good to go. Not ready for war yet, but close enough. OHL Authority and Revolution in Mexico. I want to see if I can send volunteers too. We can expand the staff. That's so good to get. I will do that soon. Let's get placed under the sun. So, words I cannot read. I hope you can maybe read them. If you can, good for you. Let me know what they say. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good amount of manpower. We have a total population of 71... Well, really we have a population of 87 million, but 71 million of that is eligible. Core. Our population. Naruru Tungsten. Nauru. Paolo. Oh yeah, we also have these little islands over here. It's kind of nice. And we're going to grab these so we can build, build, build up our industry as much as possible. Hey, the U.S. owns the Philippines. I forgot about that part of history. I think most Americans do. Uh, let's see, over there, motorized, yeah, we definitely need to get some motorized, fortification one, good, it's done, and done, planes, I need some fuckers, I love the fuckers, uh, medium planes, yeah, Gotha, ship wise, uh, we're doing okay, we could probably get that, I want to make sure we, yeah, get, get that first, spend a little bit of time on our navy, that'd be kind of nice, and we do own this, pa Pow. and we got a lot of compliance, that's nice, Ooh, actually, occupy territories. You should. I'm glad we already have this. Do that. It makes it cheaper for us. And we'll probably need less, or maybe more support garrisons. Hold on. Garrisons. Take that off. We don't need that. Makes it just hopefully a little bit cheaper. Not by much, though. Not by much. And. Let's see. Civilian oversight. I love it. State of Southwest Africa. You're telling me these people don't want to be cored? What? Compliance is still going up. That's nice. Very nice. We're getting a good amount... Well, we have a good amount of air XP. Got a good amount of army XP and naval XP. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. Ah! Nice. Disperse industry with that ship hull as well. That stuff can wait. All this stuff can wait as well. Uh, land auction. We're probably going to stay with technical excellence. Yeah. Cavalry breakthrough. Delay. Get some entrenchment. Because last time, as it, when I played as Austria-Hungary, I went with superior firepower. And while it was fun, they didn't get a ton of entrenchment. But hopefully with this path, we get a little bit more so we can defend and then push well. Cavalry organization, that looks really nice. Italy declared one of the Ottoman Empire, placed under the sun, very nice. Agadir crisis. Turn to Asia. Huh. Claim, oh my goodness, I want to, ooh. Schutztruppe. Investing in Cameroon. I'm going to look at that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and expand the staff. So. Military doctrines. I love military doctrines. Actually, let's look at this. Tanks and armor gets more breakthrough. Raids. That's really good for cavalry. And recon company reconnaissance. Ooh. I might still go down infantry support, though. Soft attack organization. Not bad. Italian invasion of Libya. Before I forget, before we continue, can I... S oh, the revolution's done. Well, I can't send volunteers anyways. Volunteers? I'm not allowed to send them. We need more world tension. So be it. Let's finish off looking at the trench warfare. So, tank warfare gives you more breakthrough. Recovery rate, recovery rate, organization stuff. Shock strikes give you more soft attack, heart attack, less supply consumption. 
and more land night attack. Uh, I like this one more just because you get more less supply consumption. Breakthrough for tanks should already be pretty good. But we'll see what happens. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. So we're pretty much ready. We even might try to make a massive battleship too. So we got this. Cruisers. Nice. You guys. We don't even have anti-air. Oh my goodness. That, well, I mean, I, that that's understandable. Level 1. We can make battle cruisers. We get less... You only get one less armor. That's not bad. You use less supply. You get... Actually, get more HP. Up here... Oh, armor goes up to 30. Uh, piercing is... Ooh. Hmm. 32 still is... Well, let's see. Let's do this first. Let's see how slow we're actually going to be. 25. Eh, that speed isn't too bad. 22, 28? 25. 25 or 28? Eh, we'll just stick with it. Why not? There you go. Let's build one of them bad boys. And since we're here, we're also going to build up this too. Since we have enough naval XP. Rapid fire guns. Black cruiser batteries. Rapid fire batteries. I don't ever use heavy cruisers because that's a waste of time. Secondary batteries. Nice. Rapid fire guns. You can grab another one if you want. Uh, or we can change it up to something else. What else do we have here? Secondary guns. But... Torpedoes? Um, that's not really worth it. It, mi it might be. You know what? Screw it. We'll put them on because we can. Since we already have that, there's nothing there. Fire control. Nice stuff. Hydro ah, hydrophones. Cool. Get some of that. Grab some of those. And that should be a pretty good cruiser for our needs. Cool. Schleswig-Holstein, Schleswig-Holstein, and actually I'm going to emphasize the cruisers just a little bit more than the capital ships, just because we already have quite a few capital ships, and we'll have one maybe by the time the war breaks out, so that's not bad. Uh, what is this? Population supports the government policy. Good. If you want to read this, this is kind of a generic event that happens throughout this uh, campaign or time, so that'll happen. It's already 1911. Holy cow. We've already been through an entire year. Anything I can do here? We got 93% stability. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Can I change out of this yet? Uh, France occupies... Oh, expand the staff. Hmm. We need to be proto-fascist or communist. You, we might as well hop over here first. Alright, if that's the case... So now we have the Agadir Crisis. German fleet in Agadir. Naval supremacy. We'll get that eventually. If we do, Tokyo Berlin Conference concludes a pact. Gets claims on a whole bunch of areas. Tonkin. Persian campaign. Investment. Way to India. Pearl, oh my goodness. Destabilize the Raj. Oh, that'd be nice. Qingdao Agreement. Rule Germania. Focus against them. How about this path? Because I love Middle Africa. Cameroon will be known as Cameroon. Tanzania. Oh, man. Do we have to release them? What is that? More compliance resistance. Daily comp... Oh, that's a lot more compliance gain. That's not bad. Colonial exploit. I like exploiting people. Well, well, maybe I shouldn't say that too much, but, uh, uh, support colonial elite? Huh, war with England. Marine tax. Oh, I don't... Oh, get some Zimmerman telegram. Investing befriend I am. This actually sounds like a really fun way to go. Like, getting an alliance with Tokyo. Because as much as I love Middle Africa, it doesn't seem like it's really worth it. If you can get... Japan in the same alliance as us. Who, who would I rather have? Africans or the Japanese? I mean, in 1911, I'm going to assume the Japanese. Probably. So, we'll probably go with this path because it's probably the best path for now. But we'll see what happens. We got our guys. We, are y'all done training? What's our gun deficit like? Casually, 40,000. Nice. Uh, I could do a crisis. I think we could probably turn to Asia. Anything else here? Let's support Austrian claim. Not intervention treaty. Bruderkrieg. I mean, that'd be really cool. We might do this eventually. Rest restoration of the Holy Roman Empire. We might do that eventually. But we'll probably go with Kaiserreich. Cool. And I want to choose next. Turn to Asia. Japan? Would you like an alliance? I think you would. So right now, it's 1911. We're going to continue building up at three times. There's always going to be at least three lines for now on civilian factories because during the war we're not going to have that much time to build up more and more factories so that's a time when we're going to start building military factories when you really shouldn't be regardless whatever uh, build that up too there you go 
So I'll intersperse this with more military factors as time goes on. Uh, how many factors do we have? We have 18. And Austria, what are you up to? You annex and probably integrated Bosnia. Hungarian civil industry. Okay, they're doing that a little bit differently than what I did. Okay, so good. They did not go with splitting up the empire, which is good. Now they're going to ban elections. We're probably going to have to help them put down Hungarians, which I'm totally cool with. You know, I like, I love the Hungarians. But sometimes Hungarians get a little too uh, rebellious. Oh, one of the true must. Oh, the fact is not passed within 90 days. The crisis period has passed. Nah, eh, whatever. We could escalate it, but we need to complete the crisis. I'm not really interested. You know, if they want that little dirt patch, we're going to kill enough Frenchmen later on, anyways. It doesn't matter. We're going to kill them off, anyways. So. Hopefully with armor. And they are suffering a little bit from resistance, which I really, really like. So, turn to Asia. My focus is on minimizing the infantry gun crisis. Great ship battle holes. Oh, I love those things. I never, almost never make them, though, but those are pretty important. 1911. Ah, oh, we could get something here, maybe. Maybe. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Military, please. We can use that immediately. Now, oh, yeah, motorized. Yeah, that's going to be pretty darn important to do that. There you go. Guns. Guns are probably going to be the most important thing. Great ship battle holes. The next time we can upgrade these guys will be in 1916. So, mm, turn to Asia. Nice. Go and grab some of those. Uh, fire control. Oh, we lack some of this. That's fine. Get one of them big old bad boys right there. Next thing we're going to do is... Tokyo Berlin Pact. We want to get Japan in the alliance as fast as possible. A military pact aimed at unification against the Brit British. Machu Picchu uncovered. Very cool. Amazing. Uh, oh my goodness, it takes forever to repair. Go ahead and just give it up to three. There you go. 1916, whatever. 1912, good, because... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you're not a capital ship. I don't know why you have that symbol on. There you go. That makes me feel so much better. If I see that on that, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not bueno. The crisis period has passed. Germany delayed negotiations without putting forward any demands on France. The government of the Empire criticizes the Minister of Foreign Affairs for the slowness and passivity in the conflict. Hey man, I'm not trying to be aggressive, you know? I'm, I'm trying to be peaceful. I'm, we're Germans here. We're not aggressive. We don't want, basically, a potential global conflict. What some might call, eventually, a Weltkrieg. We just want to do what we Germans want to do and hang out and develop really, really strong steel metal cars and vroom vroom over you. That's all. And maybe, you know, entice the Japanese to join us. Someone survives an assassination attempt. He's in a hospital, but he's got a wicked awesome facial hair. Eh, this could be better, I guess. Especially the beard. The mustache is okay, but the beard eh, could be more full. Then again, I can't really grow too much facial hair, but that's just me. I really wish we had a template to make armored cars because we currently, as far as I know, do not. Yeah, we, I don't think we can. Yeah, I could, actually, we might be able to finagle this. Mobile armor. Yeah, we can finagle this in a little bit. Here we go. Mona Lisa has been sold and he just walked away with it. Hey, man, people, they might not care about it. A car. There you go. And let's change this to, since we have enough. Well, we should have some. Oh, I guess we don't have enough. Whatever. Tokyo Berlin Pact, very good. Claim Ostasian Persian campaign. Huh. Offer subsidies for Persia in exchange for recognition of German superiority. If they say yes, I'm going to be surprised. If they say no, then I don't really care, to be frank with you. I really don't care. I can't really reach Persia. How strong is Persia in 1911? Now they have military access. They're giving it to Russia. Early support weapons, very nice. We got that done. Special forces, uh, we'll do that a little later. Logistics isn't bad. You, know, you might as well grab that for now. Might as well. Uh, you know, we don't have that many airplanes. What would we do if we just said train? Just, just train in general. We won't get that many planes. In, for, like realistically, we won't get that much experience either. So, just train until you're done. So, whatever, whatever. And can we do anything here? Yes, we might be able to. An economist, staunch monarchist. I like, I like that. Compassionate gentleman. Do any of these guys give us anything good? Maybe cavalry looks... That looks pretty good. Army logistics. Ah, von Stein. We must have von Stein. Von Falkenhayn. Now, now that's some attack. Army experience gain is pretty good as well. Division training time goes down. They sign a white piece. That is pretty awesome. 15%. That's a big old bunch. 
Electronics, crop. What do I want? What do I want in life? That's a question I always ask myself. I have no idea. What do we want here, though? Oh, fuckers. Uh, Allgemein Elektriktatsgesellschaft. Huh. Uh, what do we want? Cap? I, I like the cap. <laughs> Rosa Luxemburg. Selling the course. I'd like to do that, but whatever. Uh, I'll just grab that for now. We'll need that eventually. It, it really doesn't matter to me. Cool. Resource-wise, we could be doing a little better. You guys have 15. So I should probably figure out which front is which. You guys are the French. So we're going to call you. What? That's in front. It's a little bit of lag, and China has exploded. Ah, just Chinese things. Cool. So you guys have got enough there. There you go. Train if you need to, and we'll call this the Eastern Front, because I don't think the Danes are going to attack us. Probably not. Probably not. And actually, you know what? That's the Western Front. Serbia declared war on Ottomans. Cool. Let's get a Persian campaign. Way to India. I think not for now. Let's go ahead and come back over here and be buddy buddies with the Austrians. German support Austrian claims desk. I'm sorry, Italy. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. War in the Balkans. What else is new? More defense for leg infantry and reinforcement rate for everyone. Very nice. We've got some military police next. It is almost 1912, which means absolutely nothing to me, really. Uh, I grab some of that because we can. Very good. And Eastern front, western front. And like I said, I wanted to reorganize this front of the line. I think the Austrians should be able to take care of themselves. But then again, they might be led by a guy named Konrad von Hutzendorf, who might be capable. Or might not be capable. We'll see what happens. We get point two. Okay, that's not bad. We have some new ships. Hey, we got our first screen. And this screen actually isn't too bad. The armor, it is what it is. If I attacked myself with the Emden, if the Emden was like was confused, if someone used confused ray on it from Pokemon, it still couldn't pierce itself. Which is kinda nice. Which is very, very nice. Now, obviously capture ship scan, but you know, you know whatever. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need more stuff. South Pole Reach, you know, whatever, British people. We'll establish colonies down there. Oh, wow. Actually, I said I wanted to keep building up more civilian factories, but it looks like I'm not. Go up top two. Two at a time. Just make, for now, if you really want to, you can make one civil military factory for now. Because we're going to need it. We're really, really going to need it. Hmm. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. We don't really need you. Good. The goal is to get more cruisers, though, first. We're doing really well in armored cars. And before we were interrupted, we have 32 armor. Yes. So that gives us a whole point five armor. But Happy New Year, my friends. It's 1912. I think we're having a good year. That's really not a lot of armor. How much piercing? Oh, I'm not sure if that was really worth it. But, oh well, we're still getting army XP every single day. Even these guys have 2.8 armor. Hmm. Support Austrian claims. Very good. Next up, we shall do German-Austrian Joint Staff. Words I cannot read. So hopefully we get some good decisions. Maybe help bolster the Austrian military. And for the love of God, I hope they don't fail on us. Or just fail in general. You know what? Just in case. I'm expanding this to 12. Just because we should be able to hold here pretty nicely. Pretty easily. We should be able to hold, if needed. If we have to hold the front against the Italians. We should be able to hold the front against the Serbs. If needed. And the Lena Massacre. This is a pogrom. No? Okay. Well, whatever. And then we should be able to hold against them. We should be able to hold against the Romanians if the Austrians can do anything. For the love of God, I hope Austria holds against Russia because fighting a three to two to three front war doesn't sound very fun. And just in case, yeah. We're going to start doing that since we already have a little bit of naval XP now. Anyways, good. Are you guys done training? You look pretty darn weak. Hmm. Gun-wise, we're doing okay. Get another five since we're, we are making military factories anyway, so... This will be good. This will be nice. Do we have any trenches on the line against France? No. Oh, well, actually, we already have level 4 force. Level 4 force out of 3. That's pretty darn nice. Yeah, they should not be able to break us. And they have level 4 force as well. Whatever. Oh, we got some more military XP. Or army XP. Army XP? No, this is just political power. What am I saying? Words. Difficult. Mm. Uh, cap would be nice. Von Einem sounds really good just because you get more land. 20% land for it. Oh. I really want this guy so we get less damage to garrisons. Tank designer. Reliability. I'm just going to go with this guy. 
just because I want to see how much less damage like is done to our garrisons. Manpower is precious. You never know if we might have to carry the Austro-Hungarians on our back. I have a good feeling some people are going to revolt there. And what happened to Persia? Are we, are we buddy buddies? Oh, we are buddy buddies. I love you, Persia. I love you. Early support weapons. Nice. We might consider even making a stockpile of fuel, but now nah, let's just burn it all up right now. Cool. Let's see. Navy-wise, we don't have another one. When is the next light cruiser going to be made? August. Not bad. Screen efficiency is really terrible right now, but whatever. Cool. I don't think we can send volunteers. No. No. But so far, hey, you know what? That's not too bad. We got me, of course. We've got the German Empire. We've got a couple Austro-Hungarians in here. We've got the German Joint Staff. we got some Persians. Maybe... Japan wants to join us sometime? Maybe, oh, what does that do? Dockyard construction be very nice. I don't think we really need that right now, but that's okay. Claim Ost Asian. Japanese German Company. Pearl of the British Crown. Chinese Intervention. The Friend Siam. That might be good before the war breaks out. Naval Supremacy sounds really good, but we can wait. Let's go ahead and do Delegation to Romania. Hopefully, they kind of like us. If not, we might have to put them down. Isolate the Balkan threat. Germany, Germany, or the German Empire intends to isolate the Serbs. Well, you know, if you have to, we gotta do whatever we gotta do. Uh, let's see, is everyone good here? You're not full strength yet, but that's okay. Since I did make you guys 20 combat with, which is, yeah, okay. Let's see, A cars. Nice, now you have even more armor, which means nothing. And the Titanic has arrived in New York. I'm glad, we already spent all that army XP earlier. That was actually not too bad. That really sets us up. Hopefully for success in the future. And it's only 1912, so continue making some of this. Machine gun defense, very good. Now, armored raids, that's really good for cavalry. I don't want to emphasize cavalry too much. Breakthrough will be important, though. Ooh, cavalry organization and then infantry recovery. At point two isn't bad. More organization for everyone. As time goes on, armor, our vehicles should get better and better, so I'm going to go with cavalry support for now. Yeah, as time goes on. Now, look, we've already got... We've added or removed 17,000 pieces of infantry equipment from our deficit, which is very good. Now we need more artillery. We've Olympic Games. We will, of course, attend. And 1,700 for support equipment. Support equipment takes forever to build. Hmm. That's good. Uh, keep it a 5. Keep it a 5 for now. I'm glad we're able to make this, though. I'm really glad we're able to do that. We have 90 factories. Not bad. We have how many military factories? 25. And how many do the French have? Guaranteeing the independence of Belgium. Actually, I skipped it. Up to 15. Good. It's good. And, of course, they support the government. Of course they do. Because they're told to. This is really nice. But I'm going to probably sweat, sweat, wait for the Mauser Company, because I like researching my guns. I love guns. Man, you guys are taking a while. Holy cow, the Ottomans are really putting up a really good defense. Is, is this historical? I mean, yeah, they're losing, but they ain't doing too bad. Oh, let's go ahead and do this over here. Actually, oh, the organization is not very good. But then again, these are pretty early armored cars, so... We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm going to save my my army XP for now. I save the Balkan threat. More text. Whatever. It's just the Balkans. Nothing bad would ever come or result out of the Balkans. Actually, this might be better to do for now. Nah, we can't do that yet. Okay. Thank you. Let time go on. We got a good amount of XP. China's on fire. Just ablaze with republicanism. And now they're not on fire. The Chinese Empire has capitulated and the Republic of China is, well, here. Under Sun Yat Sen. Oh, do we have this? Oh, we do. My bad. That's terrible of me. Battleship organization? Thank you. Because I'm not really sure what else to research except ships. And I could research airplane stuff, I suppose. Spiritual mobilization. Non aggression pact. Meiji, you look really kind of flattened. That's alright, though. We still like him. We still like him. And nice, this deficit's going down, 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 down. How, what are the Russians up to? Once we figure out our tech, national entrepreneurism. That's two, two ahead of time. We could get some Marines, but that really wouldn't help us right now. Oh, we need to save that political power, too. Depth charges would be nice. Air stuff would be nice. Um, Long range bombing doctrine. Air superiority. Pilot initiative requires interception. Naval mission efficiency, 15% isn't bad. Any more naval mission stuff? Strategic bombing, escorting, strategic bombing, blah. 
you know, I'm going to go down this way. Long range bombing doctrine. Because we can. But I think that's pretty much where we're going to end today's first episode playing as the German Empire. But before we go, we have the Western Front. Let me know in the comments below. What should uh, the army's names be? The one against the Russians, what should that name be? I mean, they're led by von Wittelsbach, and also, what should the... Or no, the Western Front is with France, but the Eastern Front. They're led by von Württemberg, what should their army name be? They should be different and significant, because they're going to be delivering, hopefully, decisive victories in the future. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we push into 1913, 1914, and maybe see a spark of conflict. But thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.